Hi, I'm Michaela, an elementary instructor with TechWise Academy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're going to be using Scratch, which is a block-based program that is totally free, and it can be used to create different animations, games, and stories. Today we're going to be using it to create a hide the turkey game. So we're going to have a game, we have a turkey, and every time we click, we're going to add a new spot, and hopefully we can cover the entire turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Scratch. This is Scratch right now, and on the screen I have our background, I have the turkey sprite, and then I have the spot, but the spot is hidden right now. So we're going to start with the turkey. So I know I'm coding the turkey because I have a blue box around it and then there's a picture of the turkey. The turkey sprite does include this yellow circle around it. So we're going to go ahead and go to events. These are all the things that control when a code starts. So in this case, we just want it to start right when the green flag is clicked. And we want it to forever check to see if we've clicked because every time we click, we're going to add a spot. So we're going to get it forever, which just means the duration of this game. And then we're going to get an if then block. And then in this section, so forever, if the mouse is pressed down, so if the mouse has been clicked, we're gonna get mouse down. So if the mouse has been pressed down or if it has been clicked, then we're going to send a message to the spot sprite. So how this works is once we click, we're going to send a message or a letter and then the spot will read the letter and go do whatever the letter says. So we're going to broadcast a message and wait. In this drop down arrow, we can change it to new message, but I like that it was just kept spot, so I'm going to keep it spot. Perfect. Now this spot has to get the letter. So when it gets the letter, we're going to say when I receive spot or when, when I get letter spot, I will go to the mouse pointer so that way the spot is stuck to our mouse pointer and that will allow us to put it where we want it to put it. So we're gonna go to the mouse pointer. Right now it says random position. We're gonna change that to go to mouse pointer. And then in looks we need to make it visible because right now it is not seen so we're gonna have it show itself. But that also means that we need to have it hide when the green flag is pressed. So when the green flag is pressed we will have the spot hide itself so it will become invisible like that so this says every time i click i should let me click the green flag every time i click i should get a spot but right now this spot is not going to cover the turkey because we only have one of them so right now since we only have one spot we're going to need to have more and the way we get more is we're going to do that through clones so in events, we have a create clone of myself. Oh, it might be under control. It's under control. So under control, we have a create clone of myself and we wanna create a clone every single time we get that message. So once we receive the letter called spot, we will create a clone of myself. So if I do that now, now I can make lots of different dots. Oh, but that first one went away. Oh, now they all went away. So that doesn't quite exactly work for what we need it to do. <clears throat> and this happens because every single time we press the click button, we're restarting the code. So we're restarting the code that sends the message and then the computer doesn't actually have enough time to recreate a clone before we clicked again. That's why that's happening. So we're going to go back to our turkey and I've clicked on the turkey. We're going to have the turkey send the message, but then we're going to have it wait. So under control, we have wait one second, but we don't want wait one second. We want it to wait 0.5 seconds, which is a half a second. So 0.5, beautiful. Now I can be able to control my clones and I can add more than five. So right now that's our current problem. We can get the turkey covered, but we're doing so in more than five clicks. In order to know how many clicks that we have, so every time we click, a new spot shows up. So we're going to create a variable that has every time that we clicked, or which is the same as saying every time a spot is added. So we're gonna go to variables, and we're gonna make a new variable, and it is going to be called count. And it's going to count how many times our mouse has been clicked. If we don't want this count to be visible, I personally do not, so 
So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click the check mark here. That way I don't see how many times it's been clicked. If I want it to come back, I can just click that little box next to it. I could even make it look different. So I can just have that number there. I don't want it there at all, so I am going to delete that. And this is going to say how many times we've clicked. So we're going to set count to zero right at the start of the game. So that way we've not clicked anything yet. And then every time we click, we want to change click or we want to change count by one. So we're going to, this is the part that checks to see if we've clicked. So if the mouse has been clicked, broadcast the spot message and wait. We're also going to have it change count by one. So now the count is every time we've clicked it, it's gone up by one. However, we're still in a forever loop and we don't want the game to go on forever anymore. We want it to go on until count equals five. So I'm gonna drag this if block out. I'm going to delete the forever block and we're gonna go into control and then if then section. So we're gonna pop this back in. So whatever is inside of here will repeat. If we're gonna to go to count. So if count, we're going to, oh, I just realized I have the wrong block. We don't want an if then. We want to have a repeat until, that's the one we want. So I'm sorry about that. We want a repeat until. So we want repeat until. So we're going to run this code until the count equals five. So our equals, our math terms are going to be under our operators. And now count equals 50, but that's 50 clicks. That's a lot. We don't want that. We want that to be five. So we're going to take this and put this right in here. So now this code says, when the green flag is clicked, set count to zero because we've not clicked any. Repeat until count equals five. So this is only going to give us five clicks. So is, we'll repeat until the count is five. If the mouse is clicked, then we should broadcast a spot message and wait, wait half a second and add count by one. So if I try that, one, oh, gotta click the green flag. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, can't click anymore. That's exactly what we want to happen. So now we need to go ahead and see if the game is one or if it is not. And we know if the game is one because right here, I can see that this yellow part, let me go ahead and this yellow part is touching the black part. And it's not touching it like top to bottom, it's touching it left to right. So this part of this black circle right here is actually touching this yellow part and this part, this blue part of the background is still touching the turkey. That's how we're going to know if the game has been won or if it has been lost. It's lost if any part of the yellow is touching the black, so like right here this is touching, or if any part of this turkey sprite, remember the yellow part is included in the turkey sprite, is touching the blue background. We need to see two different situations happen. So we're gonna go in sensing and we're gonna get this first one that says if touching color, and then we're gonna to need to get this one for if color is touching another color. So this one is going to be used for if the turkey is touching this blue color. And we can get this exact blue color because if I click on the circle or the colored spot, I can go down to this eyedropper and I can get this exact blue. If I move it too far, you'll notice that the circle around my little square has turned yellow. We want it to be blue. And then for this one, we're gonna to go to the second one. So this will be if black, so the black color of the spot, is touching the yellow color of the background of the turkey. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we wanna be careful to make sure that we get yellow. And then as for the black, we'll just take this all the way to the left. So zero, zero, and zero. So if the blue color and if the yellow is touching part of the spot, we wanna to check to make sure either of these are happening. And if either one of these happen, then we lose the game. So we're going to go to operators and get an or. So that way, either of these could be, make, we'll check for either of these. And we want an if then else block. So that's going to live under control. If then else, if we have, let me back out just a little bit. If our turkey, is touching this blue area, or if the black color of the spot is touching this yellow color, so right here, this part of the spot is touching the yellow color, then that means that we've lost. So we're going to say you lose and play sound. If anything else happens, that means that we've won. 
So under looks, we're going to find the block that says hello, and we're going to say you lose. You lose. Oops. You lose. Perfect. And then let's go grab another one that says you win. Because this means that everything has been covered up as far as the turkey is concerned. So let's change this out to say you win. You win. Perfect. And then let's add some sound effects too. So under sounds, I already have win and lose, but if I wanted a different sound, I could go through and go to sounds, use the little magnifying glass, and there's tons of sounds that I could use from here. But I'm happy with my win and lose. So I'm gonna go through sound. We have start sound until done or start sound. This start sound until done means if you had a five minute long song, it will play the entire five minutes before moving on to the next block. This one says start the sound and then go on to the next block. So if it's a five minute long song and you hit start sound, then it will start the sound and it will say you lose while it's still playing the sound. So I'm going to have it say lose here and then I'm going to have start sound win here. And I want it to change it to win so I use that drop down arrow. Now we wanna know if the, if the game has been won after five clicks. So in order to do that, we move this up. We're gonna take this and put it right down here at the very bottom. Be careful not to add it to the repeat until loop, but you want it to go at the very bottom. So now this code says, when I click the green flag, I will set the count to zero, which is counting how many times the mouse has been clicked. I will repeat this specific line of code until the count is five, so until there's five clicks. If the mouse is down, then I will send a message called spot and I will wait. I will wait 0.5 seconds. I will also change the count by one. So that means that we've clicked. After five clicks, we will make sure we're gonna see if we win the game or if we lose. So if any part of our turkey is touching this blue area or if any color of this black is touching this yellow, so this color, this part of this black spot is touching this yellow, it's also touching it here. That means that if these, either one of these are true, then we'll start the sound lose and say you lose. If anything else happens, so if everything is covered, then we will start the sound win and say you win. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in full screen. Let me start it over. And if I did this, I'm gonna try and cover it. Oh, I missed it. You lose. So now if I try to win the game, I'm going to try to add circles a little bit more strategically. And I win. So let's a little quick video on how to use some of the blocks on Scratch, how to make a game where you're hiding the turkey. We did have a turkey and then we sent messages to the spot so that it's like, hey, you got a letter, show yourself. And then we made it so that if the turkey is touching any of the blue background, or if that yellow part is touching any of the circle, then the turkey is not covered and then that we lose. If we do cover this, the turkey, that means that it's all covered, we don't see it anymore, then we win. So I hope you enjoy having fun with this game and I hope you and your family have a happy, fun, and safe Thanksgiving. Thank you.